It was award-winning author Karen Hess who wrote, Sometimes a flame can be easily and utterly extinguished, and sometimes it can shrink and waver, but sometimes a flame refuses to go out. It flares up from the faintest ember to illuminate the darkness, to burn in spite of overwhelming odds. My friends, this morning, in this room, and all among our allies around the world, let us be the light. There is evil in the world. Our people have seen some of the worst evil perpetrated against human beings throughout our 4,000 years of history. And yet, we are here. Our answer to evil is to be a force for good, to be the light. Within hours of the Hamas terrorist attacks on October 7th, not only did our Jewish National Fund, USA's Israel Operations Center, spring into action to determine the immediate needs and help in the evacuation of families living near Gaza, but you also leapt into action. As a national vice president of campaign, you might expect me to talk about the millions of dollars raised through our Israel Resilience Campaign to support the needs of the tens of thousands of families evacuated from both the Western Negev and the Galilee. Indeed, our attention is focused toward the Gaza border but we should not forget our brothers and sisters in the north of Israel who live with the constant threat of attacks by Hezbollah and have also been displaced. Even while we are uplifting thousands of displaced families and planning to help them rebuild and repair their communities, the work of JNF USA continues across Israel. We need and we must raise millions to support our ongoing activities through our annual campaign. Our work to build a strong and vibrant Israel continues, even during the war. Our commitment to the land and people of Israel is the light that cuts through the darkest of times. My friends, we are the light. As much as we have seen the worst of humanity brought on by Hamas and its sympathizers, they have united the Jewish people and our allies like never before. Yes. Tens of thousands of people joined our Jewish National Fund USA Resilience Campaign for Israel, including 20,000 first-time supporters, and so many of you, and I thank you very much for that. Thousands have turned into our daily briefings for updates on the war effort and how JNF USA is supporting displaced families. And our Jewish National Fund family was out in force among the nearly 300,000 people who came together peacefully in Washington, D.C. two weeks ago for the March for Israel. It was an amazing and inspiring day. And here, this weekend, we are over 2,500 pro-Israel supporters from the United States, Canada, Israel, and beyond at this Global Conference for Israel. You are among those who will help Jewish National Fund USA reach one million voices for Israel over the next 10 years. And in times like these, we need every voice to sing in unison on behalf of the state of Israel and Jews everywhere. You are part of the one million.
as brave Israeli soldiers root out the evil of Hamas terror organization, we too must continue to step up to defend our land and people of Israel. In one voice, we must advocate for a strong and secure Israel and for the safety of Jews here at home and on college campuses. Yes. And we must also use our philanthropic dollars to support the thousands of families displaced by this war through committing to the long-term rebuilding of physical community infrastructure decimated by Hamas, as well as rebuilding community resilience. We must make a long-term commitment to help shattered families pick up the pieces. And during their darkest days, we must be their light. Together, we can do this. Together, we will do this. This is our commitment to our brothers and sisters in Israel, and this is our commitment to Jewish people everywhere. Yes, there is darkness in the world, but we are the light. Say it with me. We are the light. Say it again. We are the light. Again, we are the light. Thank you.